Hi, and welcome to My Smart Tech TV. My name's Jess, and I'm your host. And today I'm joined by Bradley Backhouse, who's the CEO at KitchenTel. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jess. No worries. So the first time I heard about your business was it was either an article or something that said, could robots be cooking your food in the future? Can you tell me more about that and how that could be possible? Well, I mean, as, as you probably know, there's, there's a lot of uh, automation robotics on their way for commercial commercial kitchens. And uh, at KitchenTel, we, we just discovered a problem that, um, that there's a huge lack of chefs. So I'm, I'm a chef myself by, by trade and um, across the Western world, there's been a huge shortage of chefs. You know, in Australia at the moment, there's over 8,000 um, chef positions currently unfilled, and that's looking at us to go to around 50,000 positions sometime soon. And that, this is a problem in the US as well. And we had an idea that if, if, if there was a robot that could replace a section inside the kitchen, inside the kitchen uh, that'd be a, a huge benefit to commercial kitchens. So we designed a robot that can cook up to 300 steaks or other proteins per hour and and fully automate a section inside a commercial kitchen. And how did you come, how did you get into this? What was your background? Uh, so my background is a chef and a business owner. So I've been in uh, chef related businesses for most of my life, um, but I just saw a need for it essentially. And one of the main drivers was in the kitchen. I was just, you know, I was just tired of being overworked. Everyone was overworked for, and it wasn't just like a week or a month. It was years and years of, uh, being understaffed and I thought there's just got to there, there's some processes inside this kitchen that that um, can be better done by by a machine which would take the pressure off some of the chefs there so uh, I contacted my friend who's an electrical engineer and together we kind of um, came I, I had the processes in mind that I wanted to replace and he had more of the technical knowledge of, of how to do it so we kind of came together and, and came up with the design. And you talk me through, I guess, yeah, from that sort of initial ideation through to the, to the final process. Can you talk me through what the journey was like and what, I guess, some of the challenges that you faced along the way as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I had an idea of how, how I wanted the, the machine to work originally. And when I came to the engineer and stuff, they, he was saying, oh, you know, this is it's just impossible to do this or it's, it's hugely um, cost prohibitive to be doing it the way that you, you, you want to do it. So we kind of went back and forth and took a little bit of time for him to understand, uh, you know, how, how we needed it done, you know, how, what the process that I needed replaced was. Um, and then for me to kind of understand what the technology could do and, and what we could do affordably as well. But we, we didn't invent anything new, essentially. We've just put things together in a different, in a different way. So we haven't gone out and invented and designed a whole new robot. We're using, um, you know, standard robots but just in a, in a new way and has the robot got a name jason his name jason. is jason love yeah, it yeah. and now you you say uh that jason uses the sous vide cooking process can you talk me through what that is yeah so sous vide means under vacuum in french but it's come to mean a style of cooking where essentially um a a uh, product, a protein, normally, but it can be it can be other food, is kind of sealed inside a bag and then placed inside a water bath. Um, so in our robot, we've got sixteen separate sous vide chambers, uh, and instead of plastic bags, we've got silicon fingers that the steak or the other protein sit inside. And the the, the benefit of this is it gives, it allows us very precise temperature controlled cooking. So for example, we can we can cook it to exactly medium, exactly well done, exactly medium rare. Uh, inside inside these water baths there's you know two, two precise temperatures and we can have up to 16 different um, temperatures going on at once so you can have you know a bath with well done a bath with medium or you can have chicken fish incredible and so would where do you see I suppose the industry heading do you think that um, robots will completely take over the kitchen do you think that you still need to have the chef how does the chef I suppose work alongside these types of technologies as well yeah, I mean, the way that I envision it is that um, it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. I think, you know, there's, um, if you look at where automations have come through other industries, they haven't completely just taken over the industry. They started, they've started taking over manual repetitive tasks first, you know, in the automotive industry and other industries. And I see that the same for the kitchen. You know, anything that's manual repetitive, uh, I think can be automated, but the chef needs to be there to, 
control control the input of the machine essentially you know they, they the chefs with especially with our machine which is a bit different from our competitors but with our machine the chef decides the cooking times it decides the temperatures that you know the chef decides how the product's going to turn out and the machine just essentially repeats that for them so that's how i see it going you know the chefs in the future are going to be um as they are now you know creating the food but just having uh, um, some hand doing the repetitive tasks inside of the kitchen that's great. And you mentioned there your competitors, that's how you differ from them. Are there any other ways that you differ from your competitors? But I'm also keen to understand the landscape in Australia. Uh, is this market, um, you know, what are you seeing? Is it getting, is it quite a busy market? Are you fairly ahead of the game with it? Um, yeah, what are some of the trends that you're seeing as well? Yeah, so in Australia, we're not seeing it too much. There's a little bit. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger in the US. So we are move, moving the company to North America next year, from March next year. We'll be lo located in Canada. and looking to get into the US markets. Um, you know, Australia is probably a smaller market for us, a secondary market. Uh, we're seeing what, what the competitors are doing. So there's, there's been a lot of advances in this kind of area, especially in the US. But what we found the competitors are doing is they are fully automating very simple processes. So for example, there's a, there's a robot that can cook a hamburger from start to finish. Uh, there's one that can make a pizza. There's one that can make a salad. But this is, um, it's good if you've got a hamburger shop, but not in a, in a very complex environment, you know. So our machine works alongside chefs in a very complex environment. So the, ours can cook up to 16 different proteins, the chef's plating it, the chef's deciding, you know, the times and temperatures and so on. And the other thing is that the other ro robots we're seeing is most of them, the kitchens need to be built around the robot, whereas ours has the same footprint as a traditional grill so that the grill can be taken out and the the sous vide slash grill robot that we have can be put in. So it can be retrofitted into a standard kitchen. And if people are listening want to find out more, where do they go? What do they do? <laughs> yeah, so head to kitchentel.io. There's some information there. And just see us get in touch. We're looking to raise some more capital at the moment. So Fantastic. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Do you have any other um, parting words, any questions that I've missed or anything like that? No, I think it's pretty comprehensive. Thank you for your questions and thanks for having me. No worries. Thank you very much for joining me and have a great day. No worries. Thank yeah. you, Jess. Bye.